Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss in brief about the autonomous light powered molecular motors. Especially these molecular motors are essential for the movements in the living organism. In the year 1999, Ben reported unidirectional molecular motor by 360 degree centigrade. So, the best example is bis-helicine. So, due to the presence of a double bond between the two cyclohexane molecules this bis helicine exhibits trans isomerism so it is the stable trans configuration of bis helicine with the help of light it is possible to get back the original structure in four different steps so in the presence of light having wavelength greater than 280 nanometers here the rotation of the molecule is possible around the double bond then it results in the formation of the unstable cis configuration so whenever it is exposed to light radiation having the wavelength greater than 280 nanometers here the rotation around the double bond is possible that results in the formation of unstable cis configuration whenever 20 degrees temperature is maintained then it results in the formation of the stable cis configuration again whenever this cis bis helicine is exposed to light radiation having wavelength greater than 280 nanometers again the rotation around the double bond is possible and again it results in the formation of unstable trans configuration and whenever it is exposed to 60 degree centigrade then again it results in the formation of the stable trans configuration in this way by four different steps it is possible to get back the original structure of the bis helicine so in that way here always molecular movements are responsible so these molecular motors will play key role in various activities if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day